All right, haul video time. Yesterday, Ethan, my buddy, let me get some stuff out of the way, and I went to, <clears throat> excuse me, we had intended on going to the place where I have my pull box uh, with the hopes that they had ordered the um, variant covers for the new issue of East to West. I know seven comics. I mean, it's kind of crazy to to spend that kind of money, you know, just to get the completed cover because it's like seven interlocking pictures. Excuse me, but they didn't have it. They didn't order any. Um, but I did get the new issue of East to West. This was this was pretty good. It wasn't as much of a triumphant return, really. That I was expecting. I read this this morning. It was good, but you know, after the the two month break that they took, yeah, I don't know. It just it felt a little flat to me. But anyway, uh, we we ran there. Uh, I picked that up, and uh, I picked up a couple issues of Liberty Meadows for my lady, and uh, yeah. We left that shop and we went to this other place that I'd never been to before. That was like 10 minutes away. It's weird. I'm like that part of town. There's like three shops that are 15 minutes apart. It's kind of interesting. Two of them are like independent and one of them is a chain. And the chain is the one that I use mostly because the independent place, one of the independent places, the guy's kind of rude and his prices are crazy. And uh, the... The new shop that I went to yesterday was completely disorganized. The, the guy had like his some of his books in his dollar bin were in like freezer bags, and it was it just kind of came off like dealer overstock. He had like fourteen issues of the same thing, but I did find a uh, DMZ number fourteen. Um, this is the scalp preview issue. I was going to put this on eBay, um, but if anybody wants to trade for this, let me know. I read it. I've read a couple issues of DMZ. I just, eh, you know, I just picked it up because I thought it would be something cool. And maybe one of you guys out there would be interested in it. Let me know. I paid a buck for it, so I'm not, like, hard-pressed to break the bank on the trade, you know. Just FYI. Somebody wants this, let me know. And if nobody wants it, I'll put it in the box with the rest of the prices. Okay, so we left that shop and we hit up a Vietnamese restaurant that was three doors down. Uh, I had some pho. It was delicious. Oh, also at that shop, I found uh, Tooth and Claw number two. Pretty cool. I read that yesterday. And I found a copy of Bitch Planet, which I read this morning. I really like this. And um, I, I bought a copy of this for my buddy Ethan, too. I was like, dude, you got to read this. It's supposed to be amazing. I mean, T recommended it, and Cammy, I think, recommended it, so, you know, you have two strong-willed opinion women talking about a book about strong-willed opinion women, and they think it's the tits, so, right on. Cool beans. So, we left the Vietnamese restaurant, and we drove 30 miles to the other side of town to this little suburb called Blue Springs. Blue Springs is the home of A to Z Comics, which is my favorite place in the city, metro area, to buy comics. Uh, the lady that owns the place, Debbie, is super, 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 super cool. They're not endorsing, endorsing me. I'm endorsing them because she's, she's totally awesome. All of, the, all of the back issues, all of the time, are half off the marked cover price. The wall books are incredibly reasonably priced. The shop's clean, it's organized, it's awesome. It's a great place. Every time I go in there, I spend, excuse me, I spend a lot of money when I go there. But I hold off buying stuff just because I know I'm going to go to A to Z and find it there, cheaper. So, that's cool. It's the place I went to on my uh, my my run killer haul, run killer road trip video. Yeah, okay. So... Let's get to the books. I made a list before I left, and I called, our, I sent our buddy Scott a text asking him if he was looking for anything in particular. This is what I walked out with. 
Um, Scott, sorry bud, I was unable to find your books. I did look at the four or the three shops I went to after I got your text message, but I couldn't find it. I will keep an eye out. I've seen them somewhere. I just can't remember where. All of the shops around here sell it. I just, I, sorry. I, but I'm on it. I'm on it, buddy. I won't let you down. This is my second attempt at filming this video. I tried to do this in my contest video all at once, and it ran too long, so my books were in order. They are not in order anymore. Sorry about that. But yesterday, before I left the shop, wow, my coffee's kicking in, um, I made a list, and I stuck to my list, surprisingly enough, because I at one point had a stack that was twice the size of this, and I put it back, because I'm like, it's not on the list. It's not on the list. Gotta stick to the list. Sticking to the list. That's my resolution this year with my collecting. Stick to the list. I did buy a book yesterday that I had a double of. My list was wrong. So my resolution should be to check my list and then stick to it. But enough rambling. On to the books. This is Micronauts number 38. It was on the list. Micronauts number 37. Super cool. 35. I love this pink. There's not enough pink in comics, really. This reminds me of that, uh, just the pink reminds me of that wicked cool, uh, X-Men. <sighs> Where Cyclops is leaving. That John Byrne, Chris Claremont stuff. It's freaking awesome. I got a double of that. I could put that in a prize box. That would be cool. I'm sure you guys would enjoy that. 34. Super cool. 33. 32. 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 20, I promise I looked everywhere, 22, not just in the M's, but this shop is really cool, 17, we were probably there for like an hour and a half, uh, it was the first time my buddy Ethan had been there and he was... <sighs> Because it's it's a legitimately it's a comic shop. The place I go to get my comics is they sell <sighs> records and DVDs and video games and a bunch of crap and you know all kinds of stuff. And comics are kind of like sideline business for them. But A to Z is like a legitimate comic book store, and he was blown away. And number six for the Micronauts. So that almost finishes off my Micronauts, which is pretty cool. I've always been a fan of them, and I just kind of got back into it. It's one of those runs that I started way back in the day that I hadn't finished. Uh, I like my um, Luke Cage, all that great Marvel bronze stuff. This is uh, the New Teen Titans, number 32. I found this at the fourth. No, this was at the first place we went to. I picked this up with uh, my East to West and... Uh, the book. Sorry. Teen Titans. New Teen Titans number 30. This terror cover. George Press stuff. Amazing. Trucking right along on Teen Titans. I picked these up at A to Z. This is Concrete. Think Like a Mountain. Number 2. This awesome Paul Chadwick cover. This is Think Like a Mountain number 1. And this totally looks like a Jeff Darrow cover. The guy that did Shaolin Cowboy and what was it? Hard Boiled. That oversized book with Frank Miller. You guys should check that out if you can. This is Fragile Creature number two. This is Concrete issue 10 from the 10 issue first series. And they all have something on the back. This art is amazing. I can't recommend Concrete enough. It's great. Number six. And I know Scott, buddy. You're into concrete, so if you're looking for anything, they got a bunch of like the minis. This is number five. Uh, I put back a, like a lot of stuff concrete wise yesterday, and I'm sure it'll be there the next time I go because it was there the last time I was there. And this is concrete's uh, issue three, also from the the first mini series. So that's pretty cool. Was not expecting to see those there. So that's uh, that's super cool. I do believe the rest of this stuff is Animal Man, and they were in order. This is issue 86. 
79. Let me move these up here so I can see them. 70. Yeah. I mean, most of these were like a buck. 69. 66. 64. 63. 59. 57. This cover in particular is Brian Bolin cover. This was what initially got my interest peaked in Animal Man. I remember way back in the day when this came out. And I was uh, shopping around for uh, Shade the Changing Man and Enigma at the point at this time. And I kept seeing this cover. And I, I would always pick it up, but I, you know, I never pulled the trigger on it. So that's kind of cool to finally have this in my collection. And I was just going to stick with the, uh, the Grant Morrison stuff on Animal Man. But, you know, uh, Steve Dillon did a lot of art after... Morrison left the book, and I'm a fan of his, so why not? This is issue 51 through 55. This is one of my favorite things about the shop that I go to, or A to Z. It's, they have, like, this is the story arc, right? So if they have all the issues, they'll just throw them in a bag all together. Like, uh, the Flex Metallic stuff and Doom Patrol, those are like $8 books, but they had the three, I think, all in a bag together. And I paid three fifty for all three. So these were just five issues of Animal Man for three seventy five. Right on. Wasn't gonna say no. This is issue fifty. Forty six. Forty five. Steve or uh Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Steve Dillon art. 44, 40, 39, 38, skipping around a little bit, sorry about that, 49, 48, and 47, and I have a bunch of stuff in my cart at mycomicshop.com so between that stack of books and what's in my cart at mycomicshop.com I think I'm down to uh, six or seven issues of Animal Man that run went quick it was weird because I like, saw them forever and then I finally decided I was going to start picking them up and they all kind of evaporated but I mean I've been working on that for I don't know a month really kind of like seriously, a couple of weeks and uh, it's almost done. That's pretty cool. Awesome price. And you can find that run online. I mean, I've seen like the complete run go for 80 bucks, 90 bucks. I don't know. The Omnibus is about that. The Omnibus is going for like $70. So having the singles for 80, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's, it's a little bit less than a dollar a book. Uh, this is issue... 23 of the 6th gun. I found this at the 4th place we went to yesterday. It was pretty neat. And I get a discount there too. And when we were at A to Z and we were checking out, they had this on the wall behind the counter. They said it was uh, fine, very fine minus. And the only thing I can see wrong with it is like there's and most of that's on the back. The corner's not that bad. And then there's like this right there. But the spine is still good. And this is the Death of Captain Marvel. Paid seven bucks for it. Wasn't going to say no. Jeez, that ran long. Hopefully this video uploads. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, Happy New Year's again. Um, Mike. That group message yesterday, that was a lot of fun. Tony and uh, Tom and Michael and all that jazz. Thanks, buds. That was cool. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.